Rais Bwana Chake Gadene Jo Bajo kwa kupitia dakika sita baada ya saa mbili majira ni Afrika Mashariki hii ni Chuka University Radio 98.8 FM Cosmic kwa siku ya Jumanne ama Tuesday head you get confused ni pale unajua kwamba kila siku ya Tuesday huwa tunakuwa na Madam Joyce Mgoya ambaye ni Director of Career Services ndani ya Chuka University ambapo kumbuka leo uh, sita jana kulikuwa na usajili ambapo tunajua kwamba kwa ni kwa masuala ya kusikia na usajili wa wanafunzi wa mwaka wa kwanza ambao wanajiunga na chuo chuo kikuu cha chuka. Karibu sana madam Joyce. Asante Mdoyo. sana. Tunashukuru. Sure. Yes. Eh, good morning. Good morning to. Right. Eh, long time. Long time. Mbona kwa muda? Lakini tuko tu. Ni shughuli hapa na pale. Sio. Mm. Mm. Wanafunzi wanajiunga na chuo kikuu. Eh, wanafunzi wameregister. Right. Uh, jana tulikuwa na registration mm. and uh, there were so many students that have actually uh, registered. You're right. Um, and they are still coming today sure. we are also expecting more mm-hmm. and uh, we are actually happy and uh, we thank god for each and every student yes, sir. so the, the, there has been so many uh, calls even in my office mm. uh, students and parents asking about government funding sure. do i come with money exactly. do i come without money right. is the government paying is mm. the government not paying sure. This fee is too huge, mm-hmm. and so on. There are so many reactions mm-hmm. about uh, the fee and uh, the confusion. All right. Even yesterday, as some of them came, there were mm-hmm. some still who were wondering, am I going to register? Mm-hmm. I have brought only 20K. I have brought... You know, I've not brought anything. I've right. brought, you know, there were there was a lot of uh, there was a lot of confusion. Right. But we really appreciate for those that have taken a step to register mm-hmm. and also to call on those that are at home still having confusion, wondering whether they're going to be educated by the government or mm. not. Mm. We are just encouraging them to get to the university and they will be able to get uh, the help that is required. Right. So that's why I decided today that I talk about uh, the the new government um, funding. The right. new uh, university government uh, funding mm-hmm. that um, uh, was proposed, and I'm sure it is going to work. Exactly. It's only that uh, in life, anything new, mm-hmm. you, because you don't know how it's going to work, yeah. it gets a, a bit of resistance, mm-hmm. a bit of criticism, mm-hmm. because people don't really understand it. But once they understand it clearly and it starts working, mm-hmm. you find that there was no cause for there was no cause for alarm. Exactly. So that is what I want to talk about. First mm-hmm. of all, to appreciate all our students that right. came mm-hmm. and to welcome them to Chuka University mm-hmm. and to tell them Chuka University is a beautiful place. Right. They should just settle down. Whoever is listening to me mm-hmm. and is a first year, they should just settle down mm-hmm. and uh, they, will, they will enjoy their stay here in Chuka University. It's the place to exactly. be. It's really the place to be. Right. The environment is good. The mm-hmm. community is good. Mm-hmm. You know, the, the, There is a lot of food, You know, availability of mm-hmm. food and so on. So really, we don't expect them to have a number of uh, challenges mm. and then also to know that there will be orientation uh, from Wednesday, there will right. be orientation. Mm. So they'll be able to ask any questions they want to ask. They'll be able to be given any answers they mm. want to know mm. and therefore so that they can settle down and start uh, learning. Exactly. So now I want to talk about the government uh, funding, mm. Kigogo. All right. That uh, all students mm. are expected to apply the government funding all the students mm, yes. they should apply the government the government funding mm. and the deadline has been pushed initially it was 31st it has been pushed to 7 right. so we still have a few days mm. we still have like 3 3 days right. uh mm. before the deadline uh before the deadline mm. so all students should be able to apply the government funding right. model mm. and uh, they should also be able to apply help mm. higher education uh, loans right. they should be able to also apply that and all students that apply the government funding, mm-hmm. they are classified into four. Right. There are four categories. Mm-hmm. They are classified into four. Mm-hmm. The first category is the vulnerable. All right. The vulnerable are even people probably who have a disability of mm-hmm. some kind mm-hmm. and so on. And they are very, very needy. Mm-hmm. They are very, very uh, needy. They are vulnerable in one way or another. Yeah. So the vulnerable, mm-hmm. the first category is the vulnerable. Right. The second category is the extremely needy. Mm-hmm. The extremely needy could be even uh, maybe a, a child who probably was born and all the parents have exactly. died yeah. and probably they don't have any parents. They have been raised by well-wishers mm-hmm. and so on. The extremely needy. And these ones are known. They are exactly. known in the villages. Exactly. They are known all over. The vulnerable are also known mm-hmm. in the villages and so on. Mm-hmm. Then we have the needy. The needy, uh, the generally the needy. At right. all, you lose or whether you have a need. Yeah, so yeah, to yeah. say, yes, I have a yeah, need. Yeah, everyone has a need. 
<laughs> Somehow, I mean, uh, maybe all of us have a need or, exactly. or, or so. Yeah. Anyway, we have the need mm. and then we have the less need. Right. Then we have the less, the less needy. The less needy probably are people whose maybe parents are working mm. and they are well well to do and they can be able to pay, uh, you know, for their, for their children. Right. Here, here. Now, you, want, you need to know that the vulnerable group right. and the need, the extremely needy mm. groups will be given 100% funding by the government. By the government. You're right. There'll be the 70% by the government <laughs> and then the 30% by loan. You're right. Help mm. higher education loans board to mm -hmm. give them loans. You're right. So 70% will come from the government fully scholarships, government scholarships <laughs> and 30% will come from help. You're right. 30% will come from help. Mm. So that what that, does that mean? That these people may not even pay anything at all in the university. university Maybe the only thing right. they need to take care of is their accommodation mm. and their That's food. Exactly. Which, of course, part of the money that is given by help will also go to their accommodation mm. and their, their food. Exactly. So they need to know that. So these people will not pay anything. Mm. The vulnerable and the, and the extremely um, needy. Then we have the needy. The needy will get 40% um, loan and will get 53% scholarship from the government. You're right. So they will get 53% from the government <laughs> and 40% from the government. You're right. 53 and 40% comes to 93. 93. Right. That leaves only 7%. Percent. Right. Only 7%. That is what you expect That is to what you are expected to pay. You're right. So if, you are, for instance, your fee is 100K, mm -hmm. It is 100K. Right. If it's 100K, 7% <laughs> of 100K is almost like uh, seven, uh, seven k mm -hmm. isn't it? You're right. Uh, I, I hope Mwali Mwangu wa Matsa ni nifundisha vizu. I hope Mwali Mwangu wa Matsa ni nifundisha vizu. So you see, I mean, the, the money that they're supposed to pay there for fees, right. it is 7% mm -hmm. of 100. 7% mm -hmm. of 100 mm -hmm. is uh, around 7,000. Exactly. So that is how it sh is supposed to be looked at. That is the needy mm -hmm. student. Mm -hmm. The less needy student will also get 35%, 38% from the government scholarship and 55% from help. You're right. So again, it comes to 93. 93%. So again, this, this uh, less needy will also pay 7%. 7%. 7% of that fee. You're right. So uh, in general, we are telling everybody to apply for help mm -hmm. and to apply for the government Policy. funding. Okay, if you don't want to apply for help because help is money that will be paid. Exactly, it's a loan. Uh, it's a loan. Right. Actually, help is, yeah. a, is a loan. Yeah. So if there are parents out there that can be able to pay for their children, You're right. this help, mm -hmm. they can be able to pay for their children. Mm -hmm. They can apply for government funding. You're right. And maybe help. Or apply to Kidogo. Mm -hmm. is a thing. Mm -hmm. But in the real sense, if they are able to take care of their children, they can take care of their of their children. Exactly. Because uh, uh, help is loan. Mm -hmm. It will be paid back. Mm -hmm. But of course, it is paid back when you are comfortable. Exactly. When you get a job, get a it's job. when you are able to pay the uh, to pay the help right. or when you are doing a business and you are getting some profit then you are able to pay the the help mm -hmm. so in general my my call today my right. call today to all the parents and to all the students that are probably listening to me is that they should not become desperate mm -hmm. they should not become frustrated they should not feel like uh, the government is leaving them. You're they right. should not uh, be, uh, look at it as if the government has actually abandoned them and so on. Mm. This is just transparency. You're transparency right. to be able to show you that there are different uh, universities and there are different courses and all of them cost differently. You're so right. that we also take responsibility of what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We also take responsibility of what we are doing. Mm -hmm. We also need to know that different universities also, their fee is different. different. You may find that the fee is pay, which is paid here in Chuka University mm. is different from the fee that is paid in JKU mm. So when we are talking about the 7%, your 7% can be higher in uh, JKU right. than the 7% yeah. in Chuka exactly. University exactly. or in another university. university. So parents and the students also need to be responsible mm. in whatever it is that they are choosing, in whatever uh, courses that they are doing. Mm. They need to be responsible to know this which I'm doing 
how much does it cost and how much more is it going to cost me? Mm. So generally that is what I'm here to tell the students. All right now, yes. uh, what are the requirements uh, to apply that uh, uh, government the, requ- the requirements of uh, applying the government funding, they right. are very, very clear. Mm-hmm. You have to have your ID, you right. have to have, there are a number of uh, categories, mm. I didn't really highlight them, mm. but there are a number of things that you need to highlight, right. uh, to, uh, to need, you need to have, so that you can be able to apply the government funding. Mm. They are also available, mm. yes. Now talking of uh, that government funding, you know, uh, some of those agents are wondering, how is the government not that my student is big? Student is maybe my student they are, okay, they are supporting documents. Right. They are supporting documents that you need to support right. the, or you need to upload so that you can be able to show that uh, you are an, a very needy student right. or you are a vulnerable mm. student. Mm. For instance, if you are a very needy student and mm. probably your parents died, you have the death certificate of your parents. Right. If you upload that, that is evidence enough to show that you actually need a uh, uh, government fully, uh, full government Funding, right. full government funding. Mm-hmm. Yes. All right. That's, yes. that's Madam Joyce Nico mm-hmm. Emergency Line. If you've got a question concerning the government funding, it was the university education. It can be. Uh, send it to via number SMS line 0704023476. And Madam Joyce Nico will be answering your question in a very, very, in a very, very short moment. Maria Perito na koko ipo siku karibu sana baadhi ya kufikia dakika shirini na tatu baada ya saa mbili matini ni Afrika Mashariki tu kona e Madam Joyce ni kuhusu baadhi ya kero kwa kesi samsi samsi welcome back Madam thank you second phase of our interview thank you thank you morning yes we are talking about university funding and all that we are questioning that is currently ongoing in the university now how do you compare this year's turnout of students compared to previous years okay uh, this year we have more students than th- than last year. Right. We we definitely have more students than last year, and if all of them uh, turn up, mm. then we'll have more students than we had last year. Right. And uh, the turnout uh, yesterday was good. We mm-hmm. had so many students that have actually uh, come. Right. And even this morning, mm-hmm. I've seen a number that have also arrived. Right. And uh, they will continue to arrive this whole week. We will mm-hmm. continue to receive them. Mm-hmm. Um, we encourage them to come the first and the second day. Definitely, right. that is what we normally encourage. Mm. But we we'll see that uh, uh, due to some unavoidable circumstances, sometimes they may not come day one or day two. Yeah. They may come day three, mm. day four, or maybe that week, and maybe early next week. Mm. Because uh, from uh, Wednesday, we'll be having orientation mm. up to next week. We'll be having orientation. Mm. But immediately after that, classes start. So we, we normally encourage students to come early. But uh, the, this whole week we'll be receiving them, and early next week we'll be receiving them. Right. Uh, but we encourage them to come early because when they they don't come early, they miss out on some of the important things, and then they will feel lost uh, within within the semester. Mm. Because orientation is supposed to give them information on what they are supposed to do, right. and uh, generally to orient them to the university. Mm. Now I would also want to talk about um, inter faculty transfers. You're right. Because there are students that have been called to uh, do a certain course. Mm. Actually, there was even one who was texting me uh, last night telling me I want to change my course. Right. I think he has already reported, but he's feeling like he wants to change from one course to it's another. To yes. Right. Uh, so uh, it's very important for them to report. Mm-hmm. Once they have completed the, uh, the, the registration, right. then uh, let them also check mm. which other courses do we have as a university. You're right that they can be able to do. Mm. Because again, you know, you cannot be changed from one course to another if you don't qualify to the course that you you, you, do, you want to go to. Exactly. So they must they must qualify. Mm. They must meet the subject criteria. Right. They must also meet the cutoff point of that particular course. Mm. Now, within two weeks, once the orientation is over, mm. once the orientation is over, they'll be given an announcement on the deadline for doing interfaculty transfer right. or intercourse transfer mm. where you move from one course to another right. so they'll be given that information um uh, another thing is my office is quite open You're for right. them to come mm-hmm. and we consult and we see i've been called to do this course this is what uh, not what i i really wanted or i really desire mm. i would like to go to this particular course You're then right. we check do you qualify to this other course that you want to go mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. if you qualify to that other course that you want to go to in terms of subject mm-hmm. requirement and in terms of uh, cutoff point then we allow you to fill a form. There is a form that you fill right. saying, I want to move from this course to uh, this particular 
cost. So they shouldn't really be uh, frustrated right. in any way. Right. Uh, secondly, mm -hmm. whatever cause someone has been called to do, right. it is an important cause. Mm. There is no cause that is not important, right. number one. Mm. And then uh, the, the issue of uh, the student asking, uh, is it marketable? Mm. Um, I've been told, uh, you know, sometimes they, they, they yeah, get yeah. information from others. Exactly. I've been told that this cause does not have a job. Mm. The other cause does not have a job. Right. There are all these stories that they come up with. I want to say that all the courses that we have in the university are competitive. Mm -hmm. All the, the courses that we have in the university are marketable. Mm. In terms of you can be able to get a job. Yes, we, 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 we cannot guarantee you that immediately you complete a fourth year, we, there is a place we will take you where you will start a, 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 or you will start a job immediately. We cannot be able to assure you that. But you, when you are patient enough, you will still get a job. Because even uh, jobs like uh, education, yeah, I've, right. I've always said this, this that in my time, mm. the people that are ahead of me mm. were given letters before they, they did their last paper right. in the university. Mm. But during my time, we had to go home. Like me, I took like three, four years, uh, four, four months, mm. months, not years. Mm. I took like three months or four months before I, I, I got a job. Because right. I graduated in February mm. and I was posted in July. I was posted in July. Mm. So you see, that is how, what used to happen long time ago. Right. Currently, we cannot assure you that if you, leave, if you immediately graduate with this course, right. this is where you'll go to work. Mm -hmm. We are not assuring you of that. Mm. You will have to wait. You will have to look for a course. You will mm. have to be aggressive. And probably you will have to think out of the box and come up with another, or with, a, with, another uh, uh, with something else that you can be able to do as an individual. Exactly. So let them not despise the causes that they are doing. Mm. And let them not go into the causes that they are doing mm. with a disgruntled heart. Right. You know, telling themselves, you know me, I'm doing this cause, but I'm not going to get a job. Mm. Already when you start doing it with that kind of a mentality, mm. because you know words have power. Words have power. Mm. You will find other people getting a job within that same cause mm. and you not getting. Because right. you, 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 you blocked your mind. Mm. You blocked your mind and so on. So let them be positive. In whatever cause that they have been able, uh, they have been uh, uh, admitted to, let them carry these causes, let them do these causes. But if they can be able to change from one to another, then it is okay. Mm. Again, mm. changing is subject to availability of opportunity. You're right. Because if we have, if maybe our classes would only accommodate fifty. Mm. Even uh, we cannot accommodate a hundred, exactly. so you may qualify to go to that other course, mm. but we cannot accommodate you mm. in that particular uh, area right. because of availability of opportunity. Mm. There is just so much that you can be able to change. There are just so many students that you can be able to change. Mm. We cannot say everybody can go to education. Exactly. We cannot say everybody can go to nursing. Mm. We cannot say everybody can go to law, mm. even if they qualify. Mm. Not everybody can go to law. Mm. So let them know that the causes that they have been called to do are good enough. Right. But if they want to change from one to another, they'll be given that information mm. during orientation. Right. They'll be told by when the, de the deadline will be there so that now they can know how to change from one uh, course to okay. another. Mm. Yes. Now is there any deadline for admission of students? Um, we can, okay. okay. There, of course, there will be deadlines. Right. Once we start learning, of course, there will be deadlines. Mm. We cannot come after we have started right. learning. Right. You cannot come after we have started learning. Why? Because you will have missed out on uh, part of the learning. Mm. So we, they need to come. Within, right. within, I've told you this week, we will admit them. And early next week, we will also be able to admit them. But after that, when we start learning, we may not be able to admit them. But they should not be frustrated. Right. If the worst goes to the worst, there is something called deferment. Right. There is something called deferment. Mm. They can be able to defer their studies, mm. then write a letter and say, I was supposed to report this sem uh, September, mm. this year 2023, right. but I've not been able to report because of A, B, C, D. Mm. I will report next year 2024 mm. in September. Right. So there is deferment. So I'm also calling on to the students that are out there and they have not been able to go to the university, mm. not only my, my university or our university, mm. but any other university. If they have been called to go to any other university and for one reason or another, they have not been able to um, report, let them write a letter to that university right. and tell them that I have not been able to report this semester because of this reason. Mm. I will report next semester right. so that they secure their place mm. they secure their place no i just yes. wanted to communicate uh, to that student uh, yes because i know mm. when you met in first year you come with a lot of positive energy and yes you are very optimistic <laughs> that things gonna be good yes and then upon
when you do that, you have mm-hmm. uh, you become hard and uh-huh. you tend to give up your uh-huh. life. You say, <laughs> much. Yes, mm-hmm. I want to uh, encourage every student that has come. Mm-hmm. I know the hope. They, there is a lot of hope. Mm-hmm. They have come with positive energy, as you have said. Mm-hmm. They have come with a lot of expectation. Exactly. They have come with a lot of expectation. Mm-hmm. They will uh, enter class and mm-hmm. they will start learning. Right. Now, I want to call unto every student that is listening to me mm-hmm. that they should continue with that positive energy. Right. They should continue with that excitement. Mm-hmm. They should do what is expected for them to do. If they are expected to be in class, let them be in class. Mm-hmm. If they are expected to do exams, let them do exams. Mm-hmm. If they are expected to read, let them read. Exactly. This idea of getting discouragement from other people mm-hmm. telling you, ah, in first you don't read much, mm-hmm. or we, you know, yeah, there is a lot of freedom yeah, yeah. and so on. Let yeah. them know that they should set aside some uh, time for their studies. Mm-hmm. Because as you are saying, when they reach third year mm-hmm. and they find a lot of Fs in their, in their, in their portal, and their transcripts, mm. they start giving up. Mm. They start giving up, and then they start engaging in things that are not uh, are right. All so right. I'm just encouraging every student mm. that is listening to me mm. that the same vibe you have come with, positive right. vibe, right. positive energy, right. please continue with it up to the, up up to to the, the end. end. Mm. Uh, attend all the classes, right. do all the CAT, mm-hmm. and do all the exams. All right. To yes. call for parents who, are, uh, uh, who want to bring their students a call for the parents that want to bring their uh, their students to the university, right. uh, our university or any other university, mm. is that kindly if you take your students or if you take your child to the university, mm. don't abandon them. Right. We have a number of parents once their 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 child is called to the university, mm. they report right. and they forget about them. Mm. So kindly parents, be checking on these children. Right. Kindly parents, support mm. these children. Mm. There are a lot of so, so many needs that they still have mm. that they will still need to be catered for. Mm. So they should take care of them. Mm. They should check up on them. Right. They should even, you know, be popping in here and there to mm. just know where they live exactly. and what, what is going on in their lives. Mm. They should not abandon these children. Right. We've seen some children that uh, once they report, Mzazi anasao kabisa, akona mtoto kwa shule. Anasema sasa ni mtu mzima, mm. na government imemlipia fees, na help imempatia he- help. <laughs> <laughs> if anything, yeah. these parents expect this child to continue to start supporting at home. Exactly. And sometimes this uh, is not enough. Mm. Whatever resources they have is not enough. So I'm calling unto parents that have uh, brought their students to Suka University right. or any other university that they have reported. Mm. Kindly parents, let's continue to check on their children. Right. We cannot really call them. Yes, they are adults. They probably have an ID, mm. but they still need to be checked by parents so that they can become stable mm. and they become responsible adults. You're right. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Madam Toy. Thank you, too. Thank and, you, too. Uh, we appreciate you. Yes. And, uh, thank you for attending. Thank, thank you. Too. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for enlightening thank our you. parents and students out there in the country. You are very confused concerning yes. this government funding yes. and all that, yes. all that uh, requirement. But yes. now, I think now they are at a good... Yeah. Uh, Actually, they can get every information they can get at uh, the website. Mm. There is a website for the government funding, right. uh, HEF, mm. www, uh, www.hef.co.ke. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. They can be able to get all that information there right. and they can be able to apply. Right. Besides that, mm-hmm. we have staff at the pavilion. Mm-hmm. If a student is in Suka University, right. we have staff at the pavilion mm-hmm. that are also assisting in that application. All right. Yes. Thank you so much, Madam, for your time. Thank you too. I wish you a good day. Yes, until Tuesday. Yes. Yes.